Amulet enrichments are the more utility focused equivalent of a standard infusion and as the name suggests, you can put only one of them into the ascended amulet. They are all quite cheap at the Laurel vendor, so you can easily afford multiple ones very early on. You can swap them with the upgrade extractor or infusion extraction device from fractals, but rather get multiple amulets instead. Otherwise, it can get very expensive over time. If you don't have any ascended amulet yet, the fastest and the cheapest way how to get some is simply to craft the vial of salt in the Mystic Forge for like 15 gold. All necessary items are on the trading post and you can make an unlimited amount of them. Let's begin with the most useless one. Gilded Enrichment increases gold from monsters by 20%. Sounds good on paper, but the amount of the gold coins, or should I rather say copper ones, is so low that it's not worth even considering. Not to mention the number of mobs that actually drop some is low as well. Farming mobs for a direct gold drop simply does not work in this game. Magical enrichment that increases your magic find by 20% sounds like the best option and it was in the past, but it's no longer true. After the unidentified gear update, most of the affected drops are gone to the point where the magic find has almost no use. However, there are still some situations where it's quite handy. The first one is opening containers affected by magic find. Pretty much all of them drop from the Heart of Thorn zones and they always have it mentioned in the tooltip. Then there are containers from various PvP and World v World reward tracks. Nothing in the tooltips, but they are affected as well. And the last one affected is the Divine Lucky Envelope during the New Year Festival. I have a full guide for that one, a link is down below. Keep in mind that the magic find is applied the moment you open them, not when you loot them, so just equip the amulet only for that particular moment. Using the magic find for actual farming is only worth it when you go for a specific high tier crafting material. Good examples are tier 5 and tier 6 armor scales from these sharks. The magic find simply increases the amount of tier 6 drops instead of tier 5 ones. The last place where it's useful is the Silver Wastes chest farm. Of course, only for the actual chest opening, not the rest of the farm. If you wanna know more about how the magic find exactly works, check my dedicated guide, a link is down below. Experienced Enrichment increases experience gain from kills by 20% and it's in my opinion the most useful one for the PvE in general. There is only one reason, farming spirit shards and converting them into gold. It's far more efficient than anything else and it's guaranteed since you get one per level up. With more experience come more shards, simple as that. Karmic Enrichment is quite situational. You will obviously use it when you need karma for something, but the thing is, you will usually have more than enough. And since karma comes from completing events, there are not many places where you can use it effectively. The Silver Vases Reba is a good example, or the Drizzlewood Meta Farm, but otherwise it won't help that much, so rather take something else. And finally we have here two world v world enrichments, one for the world XP and the other for the reward track progress. You would think that one would be better than the other, but it again depends on the situation. The reward track one is great when you play world v world short term for a specific purpose, like the gift of battle for your next legendary, unlocking war claw 
or for anything else coming from reward tracks. But if you play World v World more often, the World XP one is much better choice, because you wanna rank up as fast as possible. With higher ranks comes more pips per tick, and thus more rewards over time. That's all I had for today, so if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment and stay tuned for next time.